today i am going to discuss about mcq for game theory chapter from the operation research so welcome to my youtube channel mechanical engineering management like share and subscribe so let's see first of all the description a mixed strategy game can be solved by dash option simplex method hungarian method graphical method degeneracy so let's consider the steps of the game theory so here you can see if the saddle point is there then it is called as the pure strategy game but if the saddle point is not there then we can say mixed strategy problem so from this chart you can say if there is no saddle point then we have to move for the graphical method or the method of sub game so we can say for the mixed strategy game graphical method is used next when the sum of gains of one player is equal to the sum of losses to another player in a game this situation is known as dash option two person game two person non zero sum game zero sum game non zero sum game so let's see the important note zero sum is a situation in game theory in which one person's gain is equivalent to another's loss so the net change in wealth or profit is zero a zero sum game may have as few as two players or as many as millions of participants so simply we can say when the sum of gains of one player is equal to the sum of losses to another player then it is called as zero sum game next a game is said to be strictly determinable if dash option are as follows let's consider this image this is actually the solution of one of the game problem and here you can see the max min value and mini max value are same at this point so that we can say this one is a saddle point and so that the value of game is 5 and this game is known as strictly determinable so i have written over here as max min and mini max value are same at point a to b3 and so that the game is called stable and strictly determinable so here you can say a is the right answer next in game theory the outcome or consequence of a strategy is referred as option payoff penalty reward and game theory so look at this image this is the solution of the game theory problem and here you can see these are the outcomes of the game between player a and b and that is known as p of so here a is the right answer next in two person game option one player wins and other losses both player losses both player wins none of this so let's consider this image and here you can see the value of game is 4 that means the player a wins 4 unit whereas player b lose 4 units so we can say for the two person game majority one player wins and other losses if the value of game is 0 then we can say neither a nor b wins or losses but generally we can say for the two person game theory one player wins and other losses so i have written over here if the value of game is equal to zero that means it is a fair game next in two person zero sum game option r as follows so look at the important note a game which involves only two players where the gains made by one player equals the loss incurred by the other player is called a two person zero sum game so here you can say the first one game by one player is equal to loss by other player so a is the right answer 
Next, what is meant by PO in game theory? Options are as follows. Look at this image. Here, this is called as the PO and that is actually the outcomes for the different strategies followed by the player A as well as the different strategies followed by the player B. So here we can say A is the right answer outcome of the game when different alternatives are adopted by the players. So A is the right answer. Next, one of the assumptions in the game theory is options are as follows and obviously if you look at these all options we can understand players must be rationally and intelligently then and then the game is possible between the two players so obviously you can understand a is the right answer next when there is dominance in game then options are as follows look at this image and here if you see the very important statement over here r3 that means row 3 is less than or equal to row 2 here the meaning of this statement is that each and every element of the row 3 is less than or equal to corresponding each and every element of the row 2 then we can cancel the row minima and that I have written row minima should be eliminate. So here this D is the right answer. Next, in case there is no saddle point in a game then the game is option, deterministic game, fire game, mixed strategy game, zero sum game. So once again look at this image. In case of pure strategy game, always saddle point exists. In case of mixed strategy problem, always saddle point does not exist. And here it is written no saddle point. That means it is a mixed strategy game. So C is the right answer. Next, when minimax and maximum criteria matches, then options. Fair game exists, unfair game exists. Mixed strategy exists, saddle point exists. So look at this image. Here you can see maximum value is 5 and minimax value is 5. That means if this maximum and minimax value matches, then there is a saddle point. So from that you can understand if the minimax and maximum criteria matches, then there is a saddle point. So D is the right answer. If you want to see more videos, then subscribe my YouTube channel and go to playlist. Thanks my dear friends.